to work on part five of the competition demonstration that I've been doing. Hi, my name is Lisa. Welcome to my videos. Um, so we're going to make a cup today, um, a little mug, um, a nail polish stand and a uh, checklist type thing um, for the competition that we've been doing. For everything else, please have a look in my playlist below um, of all the things that I have done so far so you can get up to speed with this. This is demonstrations to help you win competitions and 3D box competitions in the nail art world. Um, if not and you just enjoy watching these, then have fun watching. I love making them, I love making my videos and I love the fact that you guys are watching them and just seeing what I do. So as you saw there, I've taken a straw and I'm going around the very end about a centimetre in with my glass fibre gel from Nailchemy. So I'll just let you know that I um, everything that I use is from Nailchemy. I'm not sponsored, not affiliated. I just absolutely love the company. They are a fantastic company and every year they do this uh, competition and I enter them and for the last few years running I've come run up to the finals um, and gone through to the finals and I think the first year I did actually win one of the finals so yeah I'm, I'm quite pleased with myself. Uh, I started this channel thinking that it would be great just to show you a bit of nail art, a bit of, you know, just a little few ideas to do and it, I kind of ran with it and now I'm making little tutorials on how to do competitions. So as you saw there I took some uh, acetone and I have t uh, sort, of sort of gently pried off that little um, cylinder shape off the straw. Now because gel doesn't stick to a shiny surface it will stick to the straw so it should be relatively easy just to pull this off. So I'm just bending that with my fingers into shape because it's still quite flexible. Um, it's strong but it's flexible. So I'm now going to take a blob of uh, the glass fibre gel again and just sort of manipulate it into a circle shape so we're doing the base of the cup. And then we're going to top the table sides of the cup and we're going to um, press it into that little blob so that it creates the bottom and base of the cup. Um, I hope you guys are all well. I'm going to flash that with my uh, miniature flash torch and from Nail Commit and then I'm going to pop it in the lamp. Um, yeah, I hope you guys are all well. Um, we are all doing fine. Things are okay at this end. <laughs> just tired and fed up the lockdown as per usual. So as you can see, it sort of came over the edges there as it does and I'm just taking my file and I'm just going to nip around the edges. You can do this with a drill but I'd rather you do it with a file because then you're not going to slip. So I'm going to take my fibre gel again and my um, number eight, uh, number ten, sorry, um, gel art brush, which I absolutely love at the moment. It's my number ten fine liner brush, and I'm going to create a C, a C for Charlie. So this is going to be the handle of the cup. So we're going to manipulate that and put it into a C shape. Um, also, I thought I'd apologise first. This is going to be the last video with um, the bad quality of the video. I got a new camera quite an expensive one and I'm still sort of learning and understanding it um, and I've, I've well got it now but this was one of the videos that I had I'd done I think about three hours work and I had to condense it down into a video for you guys um, and I didn't feel like the idea of throwing it all out and the footage all out so I tried to alter and mess with the filtering and what have you and this is the quality it's okay it's just very desaturated um, so yeah as you can see and I cured that and then I'm going to do another layer just to strengthen that up um, and pop it back in the lamp for 60 seconds I think. Uh, no I'm going to flash cure it and then put it in the lamp for 60 seconds. I'm going to take it off the uh, nail form backing and I'm going to now try and attach it because it's very tiny uh, with a, a couple of blobs of uh, fibre gel again uh, to the cup. So there's that cup and I'm mighty proud with that one. I'm just going to reinforce those sides. This cup's not going to get used or anything like that, it's, it's just for display purposes only. It's just I like to strengthen things up because when you're painting and you're moving things about, it can get knocked uh, very easily so you kind of want to reinforce it. So I'm going to take my nail cream palette and uh, my gel art artisan in white and I believe it's my gel art brush. Uh, yeah, and I'm going to paint this white. So I put 
uh, tweezers on the inside so it was like the tweezers were kind of trying to open on the inside of the cup and then I was able to paint the outside of the cup um, I do two layers of that uh, curing in between for 60 seconds because gel art paints are 60 seconds I believe um, I don't know if I said um, this isn't sponsored or affiliated it's just I absolutely love nail glue products and you know you do have to be a trained nail tech or in training to use the products but they are absolutely phenomenal um, so yeah, now I'm taking my uh, non-white top coat and I was just uh, non-white top coating all the cup. And as you can see, it's there, it's very tiny. Um, I had to put it up against the black background so you could see what I was doing. So now I'm going to take my artisan uh, black and my uh, fine liner again, number 10, and I'm going to write the word Nailkini. Um, so I started with a C because uh, the middle of Nailkini because um, the C is the middle letter to the word. Um, so I was able to evenly space out the letters um, so yeah do it your way do what works best for you um, I find that if I do the middle letter then it it kind of works out for me so yeah the reason I started these videos or I meant to say was because I do enter a lot of competitions and it suddenly occurred to me that quite a lot of people didn't know how to make things or ask me how I'd made things um, so I thought what's the best way to do competition so I started doing little things and then I thought well actually the company that I love um, and I would love to be an educator and an ambassador for because um, I absolutely love the company I love Dave and Healy and the team and everyone are fantastic at there and they're always there to help you if there's any problems I've been on numerous play days with them where we go down to Somerset we sit eat cake and mess around and do a lot of work on the nails uh, just interrupting there I'm doing si taking Siren Nessie and I do believe Hydra which is the blue and these are the glass art artisan paint so this is a jelly look yeah uh, no try to me yeah. um and i'm going to create like a brown color i was trying to create like a hot chocolatey brown color and then i'm going to put that into the cup and cure it or add a little bit of glass because i want it a little diluted and then i'm going to put it into the cup with my dotting tool so yeah i wanted to um i've lost my train of thought um, I wanted to show you how to use nail chemistry products to the best that they can be. So I thought the best thing I could do was create something that um, reminded me of uh, Nail Chemie HQ, which reminded me if I looked at was about Nail Chemie. So I have done, um, in previous videos, you can see that I've done a table, I've done a little fairy, which is representing of their fairy garden collection gel polishes. I've done a little dragon um, in their dragon collection. Um, to represent their dragon collection I've done um, all the nail polishes uh, little nail polish bottles because obviously that's what you you know buy when you buy from nail chemies these little black nail polishes so I'm taking my 4d gel and um, just back to this um, and I'm gonna roll them into little balls I think I do five of them and I'm creating little marshmallows on top of the hot chocolate and then I'm gonna put that in the lamp and cure it for 60 seconds um, in the previous video before this, I did a little uh, laptop um, with the screen and the logo for Nailchemy. Um, Nailchemy is a fantastic company. I can't commend them enough. They are always there if you need any help. Um, they do a lot of courses, um, a lot of tutoring and help. And it's just, just have a look at them. They are worth nothing just to have a look on the site. They are fantastic. They're always bringing out new things. They listen to their um, their team. They listen to their customer service and always making things better. Um, and yeah, I, I cannot commend them enough and I hope to be one of the team one day. That's what I aspire to be, is an educator or a um, part of the team for Nail Committee. I, I just love them. So here I am, uh, back to the thing. I'm taking my fiberglass and I am uh, doing little strips of the um, fiberglass so I'm doing like little rectangulars as you can see I'm there I'm uh, taking them off now they've been cured I've non wiped top coated them so now I'm going to cut them in half and we're going to create a kind of uh, nail polish uh, shelf so we're going to start with the halves that you've made you're going to create a stepped so as you is if you're walking upstairs you're going to create the stepped effect um, to start with and I hold that in place with my nail chemie glue and then I go in to reinforce it with my glass fiber gel um, so yeah 
we're creating, I don't know if you've ever seen them, but they're the acrylic, um, not acrylic as in nails, but acrylic as in plastic, um, clear nail polish holders. Um, so they're like racks so that you can put your nail polishes in. I had tons of these when I first started out and now everything's on shelves and in proper places. But when I was an amateur, I had these these plastic, um, these plastic racks, they were brilliant. Uh, I think I still have quite a few of them. Um, and it just reminded me. So I'm taking the gel polish there that I'd made, the little bottle, and I'm just sort of measuring it up to see if it was high enough and it was okay. So I'm gonna reinforce it with glue and then put on uh, glass fiber gel and cure it. So I'll let you watch this, but head over to Nail Queen, have a look at them, just read about the company, have a look at the team. They uh, ship to all over. Uh, I believe they ship to um, Europe and stuff. I'm not actually fully aware on that one, but because of the new COVID rules. Um, but yeah, have a look at them. And the team did, Hayley, um, Carmel, Laura, Jode, um, and Carla, Tony and Sophia, Helen and Jode, I believe I said, um, are just fantastic people. They really are an amazing team. So head over to them. So each step that I do, I flash cure it with the little portable torch that you have, the UV torch there. Um, so yeah. Um, and then I reinforce it with glue and then go in once it's set and reinforce it with fibre gel. This was rather fiddly and quite a bit of a pain to do but I thoroughly enjoyed the outcome that it came out. So as you can see we're creating some step effects so I'm going to go around and reinforce it all. Um, I think with non-wipe top coat and at this point I had the um, lamp in my mouth because I was trying to uh, hold it as well as you know trying to set it as well so it was, it was it's a bit fiddly um, but yeah as you can see I've created the step effect there so we're going to now create the sides for the set so that's going to sit on the side of the um, the display that I'm doing so I'm just taking a nail form back in and I'm going to um, just create a rectangular shape. Um, don't worry if it's not absolutely perfect, but yeah. And then you're going to sit that, uh, the stairs that you've made into that gel and cure, flash cure it and then go around the edges and doubly seal all those edges that you've done and then cure it. And then we're going to do the same for the other side and create the um, other side of the nail rack and we're going to press that in hold it and flash cure that um, I would actually just semi cure that and then put it in the lamp um, and cure it properly because um, mine didn't hold properly so there you go you can see what I'm trying to attempt uh, to make so it looks like some stairs at the moment but when we're finished it's going to be a nail polish rack so I'm going to let you watch this but um, and leave you be with it but I'm just trimming the sides um, and making sure that everything fits Oh yeah, and then here I thought that I needed another step for the, because I'd, my original plan for the gel polishes was to have nail kami written across them, um, but they're so tiny that I can't actually write nail kami um, across the bottles, um, so I was going to write nail kami across all nine bottles. Um, I'm taking Ignite here as well, um, and I'm going to paint the stairs, the inside of the stairs. Um, this is a beautiful colour, it's a colour shift, um, so it's sort of, it's really beautiful. Um, but yeah, I was trying to create these, um, have Neil Kami written across the gel polishes and it didn't, uh, my idea sort of developed and moved on. Um, so I'm going to have to think of another idea of what I'm going to do for the actual gel, uh, nail polishes that I've made. So if you want to see any of my other videos, they're all in my playlist. So I'm taking my black artisan paint and my gel art brush and I'm going to paint the inside, uh, no, the underside of the uh, gel polish uh, rack. I can't even think of the word that I'm making. Um, so yeah, so that it brings out that purple just a little bit more. Here I was just putting everything together as I wanted it together to make sure that it all worked, it all fit um, and the idea was going as I wanted to. So you can see that I've made the fairy, the dragon, 
the computer, the table, the little cup that we've just made and now the nail polish rack and I was just sort of making sure that it worked and there you can see that I tried to write nail can you across the bottles but um, my idea is going to be changing. So um, I wanted to reinforce the back of the um, thing so I took a toothpick and measured it up I then took my glass fibre gel and I put it on both sides and put in the um, little toothpick inside and it just sort of supported it a little bit more for me flash cured it and now I'm going to paint the whole lot black on the outsides um, I'm going to paint all of it black with my HL Artisan paints that cure in the lamp for 60 seconds So there I was just showing you um, what my ideas are coming to life. <laughs> um, it's all coming together. I have had this idea for ages. Um, now we're going to do a sheet of paper and we're going to do a to-do list. So again, another little rectangular um, shape with um, my gel artisan white. Um, and we're going to paint that two, co uh, two coats of that. Cure in between for 60 seconds because these paints are highly pigmented. Um, and using my gel art brush. So there we go and now I'm going to take my fine liner and my um, black artisan paint and I'm going to draw the lines of the paper um, so we just want these quite thin quite faint um, as you know by ruled ruled paper um, that yeah that, that's quite fair so I'm taking Triton which is a, a translucent blue and I'm just doing the border taking my uh, dotting tool and I'm creating the punch holes in the paper and I'm going to write wish list in uh, Siren. Uh, I do go over this in a little bit of a darker colour, but I'm writing wish list. Um, so every time I think of Neil Kinney, I think of all the things that I would like to get and the thing that building on my collection, which to be fair, I've pretty much got all of it. Um, and then I'm going to do some little squiggles to sort of emphasise things that I want, because obviously the paper is too small to write everything that I want. Um, so yeah, that's what I was doing there. I'm going to take my little uh, my art uh, 4D sculpture gel in white and I've broken one of the gel polishes that I've made the spare ones and I've created a bottle as if it's the lid um, and the brush have come off and um, so I've created a little brush and um, I've got the bottle and then I'm going to create a spill um, I'm taking ignite and creating a spill and letting that little um, brush sit in the paint to make it look like I spilt the lovely gel polish accidentally um, and um, yeah and I'm taking the ignite and just sort of going over the wish list that I've written and then I'm going to cure that and then um, I yeah I take hocus pocus and I hocus pocus which is one of the best uh, non-white top coats holographic non-white top coats and just go over the top a little bit uh, then I non-wipe top coat everything um, and seal it all in, cure it for 60 seconds and that's uh, part 5 done. We have created the cup and the nail polish rack and the wish list with the bottle spilling. Um, thank you very much for watching, stay tuned for part 6, take care, stay safe, please like and subscribe, thank you very much.